Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another tutorial on how to add cars. I mean, right now I have to add a couple cars. Sorry about the mess on this like <laughs> desktop. I have to add a couple cars. I mean, cars. And uh, yeah, let's start with the process. Uh, if you don't have OpenIV, the link should be under this video description, of course. Uh, and the cars that I'm adding, I just download them right now. As you guys can see, my desktop is messy right now because I've been doing a lot of stuff. This have been like a couple of days of downloading, installing, downloading, installing, trying to get the mods going and back to <laughs> back to back to the baby. You guys already know I've been so busy lately. By the way, main file, the main file that you need, you got to go to if you don't have the mods folder yet, you got to watch the, the, the episode before this. But um, let's start my folder update update again, common data and make sure you take this drag it on your desktop just like I did right now. And uh, this file is open right now. As you guys can see all the cars that I've had like I've had so many cars, man, you name it. I got it in there. But so far we got we just installed uh, um, one of the first wagon, which I'm about to do my first wagon garage right now. And uh, yeah, we got the first car. Let's go on to the next car. Uh, we got the golf 7.5 R. And just like I say, sorry, uh, excuse me about the desktop, all the mess and stuff like that. I just wanted to get this going. And you guys been asking for like, yo, how do you get the real life mod? I mean, as far as real life mod, it's mostly cars, man. OK, so right now, let's go to mods folder. Remember, you're always using the mods folder. Do not install it on the regular GTA. Or I don't know, you might risking you might be risking of you messing up your game like for, for real, for real. All right, so let's go to update x64 DLC pack, and this is where you're gonna be adding. As you guys can see, I have cars for days. No, there's no limit to how much cars that I add. Okay, so this is the folder you're gonna be adding, just like right now. Golf seven. Um, this is the 7.5 R. We're gonna add it in here. If you want to look at it before you do everything, let's just uh, I think it should be on the bottom of the list. It should be right here. Yeah. All right. So if you want to look at the car yourself before, you know, you install everything, making sure this is the add on steps, guys. If you are new to this, my goodness, they use a lot of memory for this cars. All right. This is the golf um, that I'm going to be using. This thing is on point, though. I like the it looked like a wrap, but it might be like a paint or something. All right. So now that you have the car in there, I was trying to make sure I go back to the main folder because I'm going to keep adding cars. I'm going to keep adding cars after cars after cars after cars. All right. The, in the readme, they usually have stuff in there. So what I usually go for if they don't even have it. Okay, there you go. Copy this line right here. Sometimes they might have it. Sometimes they might not. If they don't, all you really need is the folder name, which is that right here. And then you going back to that DL DL um DLC list over here. And then you're going to add it to the bottom of the list right before path. See, copy and paste. Boom, you got a second car. I'm supposed to add 10 cars right now, so we're going to keep going down the list. Let's see what we got. As you guys can see, this is a lot of cars, man. I need 10, but um I got so much love for voice wagon, man. I'm going to add all of them and see which one that I like at the end. All right, so a type two. You guys know about the type two, man. All right, it's going to be at the bottom of the list. Uh, we'll, we'll show you guys the car, each one of the cars one by one. If I don't like something, I'm just going to remove it. All right, same process. Can you? I mean, it's pretty straightforward and you have the you, you have to make sure you have a game config. That's not going to limit you to how many cars you can actually have. So that's that's gonna, that's gonna be a big problem. You have to make sure you update that. If you don't update that, your game's just gonna crash while it's loading. But um, yeah, let's go back. Let's go back to that same folder. Sure, we paste that. You see, we got three cars, three Rose Dragons so far. I got seven more to go. Let's exit this. Let's go to the next folder. As you guys can see, this is the way I do things, and uh, hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy today's episode. Of course. The MK1, the MK1 is always one of my favorite. I mean, this is the original. I know some of you guys might like the MK6, MK7. That is for anybody that even know what I'm talking about when it comes to Volkswagen. But um, I know a lot of people whenever they think of Volkswagen, oh, punch buggy, uh, you know, stuff like that. 
but um Volkswagen is the parent company of a lot of a lot of companies that you might not even think of like uh what Audi I think they even have Lamborghini um Bentley like they are a big company when you really think about it all right so let's at this as you guys can see I'm going down the list we up to four cars now and I don't even know you see they didn't give me no path or anything like that I'm not I don't feel like creating that right now we could skip that one I hope that was not a good car that I was looking for. Uh, this is the 19. What is it? 1997 to 2000. Oh, they probably have. Um, I don't want the one thing I don't like automatic install guys because sometimes they install it right and sometimes they looking on the old version. So I try not to. So we're going to skip that car and go down to this list now. Uh, a Beetle. Come on, man. Who don't like a 1974 Beetle right here? All right, so uh, let's bring this back. Like I say, we're gonna drag and drop. This is a pretty straightforward installation, guys. Um, I guess you guys could keep going, but this is we just doing the same steps over and over and over again. And just like I say, make sure you have the right game config. And uh, we're gonna test the game right after this, just to make sure it works. The only thing I would advise, though, don't do it the same way I'm doing it right now, because you might not know which car is uh, it's causing the crash. But I, I've I've tested some of these cars already. I'm going to put everything in right now because I'm in a hurry. Let me see what's the extra. Oh, uh, that's OK. Yeah, that's just the, uh, the, the cover of the car. All right, so we put down the list. We are good. Let's just keep going. I had a long list, man. And I know some of you guys are gonna definitely hit me up with, oh man, I don't know. We already got the type two in there already. Uh, we'll get rid of that. As you guys can see, I'm doing process of elimination right now. Whatever that come easy, I'll take it in. If it's not, I'm just gonna move on. Uh, this is the Concept 2016 XL. Uh, this is a Concept car, but I really want to have it in there. So let's make sure we have the folder. You see how I always click all the way into the folder. Sometimes they have a file and sometimes they don't. So I like to make sure that's correct also. So let's just copy that again. Now, if one of these cars are crashing my game, I ain't going to know right away. That's one of the mistakes. But um, as you guys can see, it's like I'm ready. I'm ready to just get in the game right now. Let's see. List. The list is long, man. All right, the G. Come on, man. The GTI 7. Come on. The certain cars is hard. That to is it, hard. Like you guys already know, I got love for every cars, man. Trying to make sure I have enough space. I know some of you guys might say I'm doing a messy work right now, but this is fast. Like I'm trying to get this as fast as I can, so I can actually get on with this episode. And uh, you see, sometimes they might provide it like this. What I usually do is uh, go back to our folder and copy the last one. That's just another way of um, doing this. Oh, you can actually just pick the folder yourself. Copy the last one, and you see the, the folder name. Copy that name and replace this. That's it. Let's just put it in there. That's it. Pretty simple. All right. So guys, yeah, we're coming up on some numbers right now that I did say 10, only 10 cars, but I'll usually download all that just to make sure that I have enough. So I don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. All right. So we got the 7.5 already. So let's just forgot that. That was a, uh, we kind of like downloaded it twice. All right. Let's hope this is a good one. As you guys can see, I'm just following that same process. It's like you're doing it over and over and over and over and over and over. If you don't get it right now, <laughs> or if your game is crashing, make sure you check game config. That's one of the main thing that might stopping you right now. Or the car that you download, some of the um, some of the authors probably didn't set it up right, so it might crash your game. It might crash your game. Or if it's too much memory to the point where your video card is not that good. Yes, you're going to be limit. Uh, it, that's definitely going to limit you. Of course, as you guys can see, some of these cars, man, takes a lot of memory. All right, the golf eight. OK, 
Yo, I got so much up. You see, like this person just send the file like that. That's why when you download a file, you just find it like that. You can actually make your own. You see, I'm just going to copy the last one. Kind of happy that happened right now, too. So you guys get a chance to see it. So you're going to be like, oh, he didn't send, send no readme file. Sometimes it might be in the description and sometimes it might not be. So by now you already know how to get this thing going without having to um without having to read me file and stuff like that but um as you guys can see we are almost done man and then once we done we jump in the game test each one of the cars and uh you guys already know i like to do step by step mk7 mk7 is probably one of my favorite too all right you see that the person did not provide the folder they just say add on now you got to make the folder yourself so let's just Make something new in here. Once they don't provide a folder, you have to do it yourself. All right. Golf MK7. Wait, then then I have one like this. It's, this is probably another version. I like to make sure that I'm not duplicating files too. You have to make sure you check that. All right, from all the cards that I install right now, golf. Uh, I think that might be one, but it is not the same name. So this is perfect because this is what I'm going to name the folder because that's the folder that DLC pack is going to be looking for. All right, there you have it. Oh, I forgot to drag it in here. All right. So all you're doing is putting this inside this. I mean, inside the, you know, the golf golf MK seven and go back. And what we're going to do is make sure we are at DLC and drag that and drop it in here. And what you're going to do again is take uh, this. All right, yo, they did not provide everything right at all. All right, uh, same process. Copy. I'm so used to the copy and paste. Okay, so let's make sure we get that name again. And this is why I always tell you guys, you need time. If you not, if you don't have no time, GTA GTA modding is not for you, man. Cuz you need a lot of patience. Some of these mods might work for me like right now. I might go in and have no idea which mod caused the crash. Uh this is the MK6. I like the MK6, so I'm willing to go through that process. Um You see that they, they didn't provide none of the folders for these. So you got to make your own folder. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this um, by now. I think you should know how to do this. I've done this like multiple times already, but just make sure just like I say, I repeat it so many times you have the right game config or your game will crash while loading. All right, let's drop the MK6 and let's make sure we add that. All right, and just like that, we're already done with this one. I'm, I know I'm already past send, so this is all the new cards that I just added right now, guys. Definitely past send already, but um, I don't know. All right, the Jetta, the Jetta, come on, man. Jetta GLE though. All right, and one of the main reason why I start modding GTA is uh. Because there's this certain games that are out there and it is always like, oh, we don't have that car. We don't have that car. Oh, we don't have that car. And I, I feel like with GTA, you are you have unlimited, like no limit on how many cars you can actually have in there. All right, so we got that. Um, we added already. Oh, shoot, I forgot to edit this thing. So I'm just going to leave it here. Come on. Our mouse sometimes just like to act up over you. All right, so we're gonna paste it over here again. We're gonna take this. We already added the car. Let's cut this. Let's replace that. And just like that, the car is in. I just wanna make sure that I drag and dropped it. You will find it on the bottom of the list. And let's close this. Sure. 
All right, so let's go. Oh man, we are done. We are done. All right, this was a special bugs ragged over here. Gonna make sure to add it. I think this is one of the new version. All right, so in a second, guys, I'll show you guys each one of the cars and making sure that everything is working. How to replace add-on. <laughs> oh, do you see that? This is somebody's teaching you exactly how to do this. I like that. I like that. Because not everybody, not like there are some people that are new to the game and they just jump in and uh, they might not know how to do this. I know there's plenty of tutorials out there, but there's a lot of people that don't like to look either. All right, so we good. This is all the cards that we have right now, guys. We just add those cards in. Let's make sure we save that. I did save it on desktop already. So we'll, what you're going to do is go back to that same um, folder that I that I show you guys. You're going to go to mods update update again common data and you're going to find DLC list right here. You see that when I open this, the the cards that I just add is not in there right now. So what I'm going to do is drag and drop it in here. They just switched it to 13. I don't know if it's going to approve me for this one because I think 12 was like my max. But as you guys can see, I have all the cars in there right now. And one last thing, let's show you guys what the cars look like not being in the game yet. Vehicle and this is the first man. These voice dragon take a lot of memories. All right. By the way, guys, I am creating a voice dragon garage. That's why I decided to uh, decide to add all these cars. I didn't have that much voice dragon in my game, but I used to add them and remove them. Uh, yo, they take a lot of memory. Like some of you guys game might crash like for real. Like 14. Come on, man. But you know what? They do a good job, though. They do a good job. I'm not going to lie. Most of my Lambos are that high, so can't complain. Like this is perfect. This is a low quality, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work perfectly. You could have this car in traffic any way you like. This is really low as far as memory, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Like it might it might not. Um, it, it's not going to crash your game. This is a car you could just spawn you could spawn at least 10, 20 of them like this. The MK7 is perfect. All right, so enough about that. Let me let me show you guys uh, the cars in the game. Let's jump in the game right now. Let's start this. All right, guys, so we just load in the game. Yeah, my oh, actually Franklin look crazy right now. Let me make sure that I have the right outfit. <laughs> All right, so let's make sure we have a good outfit for Franklin. Nope, we ain't about to rob nobody right now, man. Yo, no. Yo, why well, be having some of the craziest outfit, man? All right, I think I think that works. All right, so the main plan is to get all these cars in. Oh, they are they are here. I guess this is the first one. Okay, I didn't mean for it to get that sound. Okay. It's not that bad. We need to find a garage. We need to There's a lot of these cars. Wow. Okay, this is this is nice. All right, let me find a parking lot. Then we can actually keep spawning. Oh, there's a parking lot right across. That's in the open though. My goodness, so many cars. All right. So there you have it. All right. So this is the first one. I'm going to make sure I save it because I do have a lot of things to do. But as you guys can see, man, this is what we're working with. What is that? I usually trying to like to test everything when I get, when I get the car. Suspension. I'll leave the wheel the same. Tire smoke, bulletproof. Oh, by the way, this is Simple Native Trainer. If you don't know how to install it, I did have a vid. I I did on my previous video, of course. But right now, we are just saving these cars one by one, so we can actually create a Volkswagen garage. All right, I'm gonna let's see. We're gonna do slide nine sixty one. I don't know how much memory. I don't want these like. If you spawn too many of these cars, there's a possibility that it might crash. So it, it just happened. Um, the Passat. Okay. 
and you can actually get rid of the the previous one if you don't have that much memory, especially on your video card, of course. And what I'm using right now, this is Mania. I already show you guys how to use that too from the previous episode. All right, this facade over here can upgrade it. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. This is the time you can actually click off because I am just setting up this for my gameplay in a couple hours uh, on the live stream. You see that? You see how you have options? Is that supposed to be for the world dragon though? It look like it. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It is. I was about to say, yo, those parts I wasn't sure about. Oh, this is not bad. This is. I would have done that to my facade too. Is that some sweet? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I like this. I like this. And what about the grill? Yo, this is on wine test though. This is just switching the lights. As you guys can see, when you have add on cars, you have so many options to do better things with the car and stuff like that. that is if they provide it, though. I think those rims are perfect for it. Put some turkeys in there, you know? And there's no extras. All right. Uh, I'm not. Do I have. No, we don't. Uh, so I'll change it to probably. Yeah. It's not bad. Or maybe. I'm trying to find a, a good color for this right now, guys. I always pick blue for my bulls bracket for some reason. Oh, okay, okay. This is purple though. This is <laughs> this is purple. This is not bad. All right. Uh, the tents. I just realized I did not use any tents. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is more like it. This is more of my car. All right. Let me know what you guys think. But um, other than that, let's save this again. All right. This is the second slot for six. I mean, for six, nine, six, sixty-two. All right. And just like that, we are done with this car. I can't wait to create that Volkswagen garage, though. Um, let's see on the list. Some of the cars I might be able to find right away, and some I already know I'm gonna have to look for them. All right, six ten. Albany. Nope, that's a Lambo. Some of them appear up front. That's what I usually go for. It just depends. If you know the name, you could just type it in, search for it. All right, let me go to the back. I already know. Okay, so as you guys can see, Volkswagen, the Beetle, 1974 Beetle. Yes. I still got love for this car right here, man. Little punch buggy. All right, I know I have library for this. Okay. I guess I'll take this one. I thought it had better library though. Okay, we put the rack on top. We put the suitcase and all that. But what is this? I don't know what it is. Sometimes you spawn something in a car. Don't know what it is. Okay, that's the front. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's good with that. Okay, okay. Yes, with all the stickers. Who got a beetle with no stickers, man? Come on, man. And there's no other options. Uh, let's make sure this is fast enough. Old school, of course, guys. I'll leave it the same way it is. Yeah, I like that well. A little tense. No, 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 not that dark. All right. And just like that, we got an orange beetle. And I'm going to save it on that same slot. And sorry, I haven't updated the tutorials in a while. As you guys can see, man, I'll be trying to like do everything so fast. All right. So this is our third voice dragon, guys. Uh, let's get rid of this. And just like I say, I am using Temple Native Trainer to do what I'm doing right now. Oh, I went the wrong way. All right, the 7.5. Uh, it does not supposed to sound like a Lambo. I might have to change the sound, but um, let's see. That thing is loud. Oh my goodness. 
Any options? Some of these cars might not have any option. Okay, we do have options for the rear. If they don't, I mean, you understand. We got the front lip and rear bumper. Okay. What is that? A side skirt. And okay. I'll take that. Suspension. Yeah, we could lower that a little bit more. My goodness, that limbo sound though. I'm actually gonna leave this the same color it is. I'm so used to seeing these in that same color. Does it have a plate? Yes, it does. All right. 964 it is. Not bad, guys. Let me see. I forgot to show you guys the interior view. Yeah, when I said they did a good job. All right. It is not a Lambo. I mean, Volkswagen is part Lambo, of course. I mean, it's a parent company of Lambo anyway. So let's see. GTI. I know some of you guys might say, yo, it's the same car, but come on, man. If you're Volkswagen fans, it's definitely not the same car. <laughs> let's see what option do we have for this? Okay. Is it just roof? Okay, those options are just the roof, guys. Uh, and spoiler. Okay, and what else? Side skirt. That's the front lip. Exhaust. Do exhaust is always the best for me. Oh, okay. We got a whole kit. And uh, just like that, we are done with it. Of course, I'm gonna lower this bad boy. We do have the stock rims, though. And I have some uh, some BBSs on this, guys. What you guys think? <laughs> Damn skis, let's go. All right, I'm changing. Oh no 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 no! I need um tents. I be skipping over the tents. Yeah, fully tinted out. Um and color. Yeah, I like that blue. That's not bad at all. And let's paint the rims all black, actually. Partial, I guess. And can we change the interior color? But that's just a mirror. Oh, that's not bad. I'll leave it as. All right, it's just like that, guys. We are done with this car. What does it sound like? And let's look at the interior view. Man, no wonder why all these cars take so much memory. They did a, a great job. <laughs> I was about to say magnificent job with it. For real, all of them. Look, look at the seat detail, though. I take that though, man. I take that. All right, so let's do the next one. As you guys can see, I'm still going down that list. Golf R. This is nice. This is nice. I will keep it. We'll, we'll, we'll keep this all white. This is. Oh, actually look nice with that though. Um, tense. Yeah, this could be fully tinted. You don't need to see inside my car, bro. Uh, any other options? Nope. We could just make it fast, and uh, that's about it. Let me see. Is it worth changing the rims on these? Not really. I'm just gonna keep it as. And let's make sure we save this bad boy and uh, move on to the next one. This is nine. Wait, how did we jump? How did we jump to 966? <laughs> 969, too. Let's go. With the North Yan This is a front wheel drive? Oh, I was about to say. Interior. On point. All right, the car's safe and the car is out of here, man. All right, it was like I say, we're going down that list. Some of the cars I might not find right now, but I think I'm almost up to 10, so I'll take that. So it looks like we got multiple versions of the T1. 
take this or yo which one would you pick i'll pick the middle one though that's just my thing come on man by the way guys Volkswagen was actually the first uh vehicle that i learned how to drive stick shift from one of the smoothest smoothest stick shift vehicle out there for real all right let's see if we can actually get a wrap or something like that on it Just a little tent. Um, tire smoke, bulletproof. Oh, this is nice. We don't have to cover it. What is this? I hate when I'm pressing some. I don't. I have no idea what it is. Okay. More stickers. Some of these stuff, I don't know what they are. Probably appearing on the dash or something. Some more stickers in the back. All right. Let me see anything else we can actually change. Not really. Just uh, interiors. Got the light smoke. Any library for this? Nope. All right. For something like that, I'll go for maybe green. Oh, that was nice. Oh. That's actually perfect. You know, like the old school. Not a code blue. Why not? We're white like that. I like that. All right, so this is what we got, guys. The Let's make sure we save it and just like that. Yeah, we are almost up to 10 cars already. That list is going to be complete. Oh, it was putting vinyls in the back. Oh, we got a Bob Molly vinyl in the back right now. All right. All right. Other than the T1s, we're going down the list. The MK1 camber or MK1 normal. I do the MK1 camber, actually. I don't even like camber like that, but. Come on, man. It's an MK1. Why not go all out? The MK1 is always going to be uh, one of those cars that stay with me. As, uh, I had a, uh, I had one of my, it was one of my cousin actually that had one of these. It was like a hand me down car, but I mean, it did the job. It did the job. These things can actually last forever, man. As long as you take care of them. You cannot change anything. But upgrading the engine, and that's okay. Oh, that camper is too low. There you go. All right, I'm gonna leave it as. I'm gonna leave it as. Sometimes you can't mess with camper vehicles, eh? That you can't mess with them. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'll keep it red too. Let me know what you guys think. Front wheel drive. We need that that tray in the back to do. Something like this. Look at that front. Yo, we all on the ground, bro. Look at this. No wonder why I was looking all messed up. I like it. I like it. All right. And uh, just like that, we are done. Nine six eight. Now, if you enjoy modding, this video might be for you. If not. Yeah, uh, you got to be like a Volkswagen fans or something like that. <laughs> but other than that, thank you so much if you even reached this far. But I'm just okay. They always take they always take the Lamborghini sound for some reason. Uh, we already have a white one, so let's change the, the first thing we're doing right now is changing the color of this car. We could do this blue. Like I'm modding all these cars. Any options? No, nothing available. But some upgrades. Is it low enough? Yeah. Oh, I kind of hate when the tents mess up the light suit. So let's just go with stock. Yeah. But it was meant to be. And any library for this? Oop. And we're gonna keep it the same color, guys. That was probably the most simplest one. 
And well, like, yo, they, they take their time with these Rose Dragon. Yo, we need the other cards like that too, man. This is on point. Like, yo, they take the time with these Rose Dragon for real, though, man. All right, so this is down the slot. Yes, I know we we almost we almost had 10. It depends on if I'm going to switch though. So let's see. Let me see. It depends. It really depends. I might switch over to some some of the other cards because we just reached 10 right now. And I'm pretty sure it might be one of them that I missed. Is that one? Yep. And the other voice dragon SUV. I hope that was not one of those that um was the mod that I skipped. Remember when I was skipping a couple of mods, it was like, oh, okay, that's not ready to go. That's not ready to go, and that's not ready to go. All right. Oh, I can't upgrade anything on this. Sometimes you might see this, guys. You cannot upgrade anything. Just leave it as, or you can actually modify it by going to the handling handling line on GTA. All right, so oh, that was not a bad color for this. We'll do like a great truck. Was I was I even able to get tents for it too? I'm not even sure. I can't change anything in this, guys. Okay, uh, let's see. I forgot. I forgot. I think I probably passed tents. Yeah, whenever it's limited like that, there's a lot of things you can't do. I hope we can actually put some people in the back, though. Let me see. Like, I like to test everything when it comes to certain vehicles, guys. Um, oh, let me make sure I save it just in case, like, you know, it crash or whatever. That's one thing you have to make sure you do, especially when you're modding to the to the next level like me. You have to make sure you save. You have to. All right. So let's uh let's do bodyguards. I don't even know who they're gonna spawn. Okay. How many of her can we spawn? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you all fit in this? I know it's impossible, but we're gonna try. Can they hop in the back? Yes, they can. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. And we got two of them that hop in the back and uh, just like that. Yep. The last two we can actually delete. So we can actually at least have five people in here. Let's go. Okay. If you want to download this truck, just like I said, you can actually find this on GTA 5 minds.com. Ladies, everybody's ready. Everybody's ready. Okay. All right, just like that. All right, I'm going to dismiss them and they might be able to take the truck with them too. But I already saved the truck. So all bodyguards, um, thank you, ladies. Thank you for coming. Y'all can leave now. Take the truck with y'all. Oh, one of them just took it. <laughs> she left all of them. Oh, they just split anyway. All right, so guys, uh, let's see any other Volkswagen up in here. Oh, I'll probably miss it from the list, but I feel like we are good right now. Let me see anything that was on this list. M6 GC. Nope. I think if I miss one, I'll look for it probably next time. Oh. And that one crashed. You see, sometimes some of the cars, just like I say, that last one that I got crashed again. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the tutorial. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Only one of them crashed the game, but I'm going to make sure that's why you have to make sure you know which one crashed the game and just remove that thing. It's not going to spawn, but let's say while you plan, you decide to spawn something. Sorry about the black screen. It usually takes some time. Since I am playing at 4K, uh, it usually take time. Uh, what you call it? Want to make sure. Good. All right, we good. All right. Um, yeah, we just gotta make sure we remove that one. Um, let me see from the list. Which one was that? Cause it crashed the game right away too.
not the MK1, it's not the Beetle. I think it was the Div 6, something like that. But yeah, anyway, guys, whatever, whichever one is it is for you or whatever car you just install and then it crashed a game like that, just remove it and then you're all set, man. But me, I'm going to make sure I find exactly which one it was. And then we should be all set. So my list is complete. At least I know I'm not adding that car. So I'm guessing it was like one of the supercars or whatever. Uh, we even have problems spawning over here. Yo, the torn though? Even the supercar. Okay, so that I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this one. But we are removing it from the list. I'll get another one. But anyway, guys, uh, you guys just watch the tutorial on how to do this yourself. And I hope you guys did enjoy this. We even caught one of the uh, cars that crashed the game, <laughs> which is good. And once you remove that one car that you don't need, just do the drag and drop. Same thing. Same thing. Pretty straightforward, guys. Let's drag and drop this. And boom. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.